Our next guest is an Emmy-nominated comedian and actress you know from shows such as Nailed It and Wipeout. She stars in the second season of Grand Crew, which airs Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. on NBC. Let's take a look. Oh, I see you're annoyed. No, I'm not annoyed. Um, I think I'm trying to say that the game is dumb, loud, and wow. I hate this part of your personality. All right, well, you know what? The only way to resolve this is for you to enter Nebula 9. Oh, no, I don't have time. But, Nicole. What? The entire unified intergalactic tribunal diaspora depends on you. I definitely don't. Just play the game, and if you don't like it, I won't play it for as long as I'm here. Mm. Come on. Prepare for intergalactic battle! Please welcome back to the show, the always delightful Nicole Byer, everybody! <laughs> Treat. I'm so happy to have you here in person again. Yes. We've had you on Zoom a couple of times since. The first time you heard 2018 mm -hmm. was in person, and I heard you had an interesting thing happen on your way out the door. Yeah, so there was like a bunch of paparazzi, and I've never encountered that, and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I step out of the car, and I think Jayla was in the building or something, or like Vanessa Hudgens, someone famous. Yeah. And I like step out of the car, I'm with my friend Mateo, and this little, little voice, a little kid goes, Mama, who is that? And then the mom goes, that's a person. <laughs> I'm humbled at every corner. <laughs> to be described as a person is how yeah, you know the paparazzi is not there not for, for you. Me. There was like one click. Yeah. Like a sympathy, like, I don't know, bitch. <laughs> just in case. Yeah, just in case. You're like, she might be someone. She is a person. <laughs> Now, um, I heard uh, you told a very funny, uh, terrible travel story yes. about a trip to the Bahamas on, uh, on, on my dear friend Jimmy Kibble's show. Yeah, and the Bahamas, they are mad! <laughs> the Bahamas has stayed mad at you. Yes, this lady took the time, God bless, to make a whole video where she called me Peppa Pig slut. <laughs> <laughs> Someone gasped, it's funny. Yeah. She, <laughs> then she took the time and then was that creative. So I changed my Twitter. Yeah, bio you have to you've that. owned it and you've yeah. changed the uh, Nicole Byer, <laughs> aka Peppa Pig slot. So you've taken it from her. Yes, I'm reclaiming it. Uh, you're reclaiming it. And uh, sadly though, not your final bad travel trip. No. Okay. You had a you had an issue and you got into it maybe a little bit with the social media account of Listen, American Airlines. American Airlines is my number one enemy, <laughs> okay. okay? The whole airline, everybody who works there. I was delayed for eight hours at the airport. That's, all, that's a clock in, clock out job. Yeah. I was there for so long. So I tweeted, when are we getting on this plane? And then some sassy intern was like, we try to nail it with your travel. And I was like, don't do puns now! Yeah. You obviously are on the fantastic show, Nailed It. Hi, Nicole, yeah. sorry for the delay. It's never easy for us. We always want to nail it when you travel. The flight is still scheduled at 3 p.m. So they probably were pretty proud of themselves. Uh -huh. They're like, look at yeah. us engaging. Ooh, I'm so funny. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. You didn't let them off the hook. No, because they didn't nail it. I paid $60 to go into the lounge, and there was toilet paper all over the bathroom, <laughs> and I posted. I was like, guess you didn't nail this. Yeah, this is... Um, uh, ooh, ooh, American Air, my flight was supposed to leave at 7 a.m. is now leaving at 8 p.m. No, it's like, I paid $60 for your dirty ass lounge. <laughs> where barely any charges work and the bathroom is disgusting. Guess you didn't nail it again. Yeah. Now at this point, at this point, they're definitely regretting having engaged with you. Oh, I think so. I, I absolutely think so. I wasn't done though. I had plenty more to say. A bad joke and you lived. Uh, we ain't even on the plane. We didn't get on the plane. Yeah. And then they canceled the flight at 5 p.m. Yeah. This is, um, can, now, what, can I assume these LOLs are sarcastic? Will you oh, read this one for me? Yeah. LOL, OL, American Airlines, my flight's canceled. LOL, LOL, <laughs> LOL, LOL. I guess you really did it. Nail it. And that is how I was texting. I was just furiously on my iPhone just being like, ah. Oh, I was so mad. Well, I was supposed to land at 1 p.m. I didn't land until 6 a.m. and then had to go do an interview. I seemed drunk in that interview. <laughs> they were like, you're on a show, Grand Crew? And I was like, yeah, you yeah, know. <laughs> it's very unfair for them to treat you like that. I know. 
I hate them. If I ever meet the president of American Airlines, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind and maybe slap him. I don't okay. know yet. You don't know yet. Is there an airline you would fly instead? Listen, I found a piece of poop and a blanket on Delta. Watch my special, I get into it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd rather fly that because they gave me material for a show. Yeah. So maybe it's unpleasant, but they're kind and giving. <laughs> You know? It's true. A lot of people don't talk about that. When you get material on a flight, for somebody like uh -huh. you or I, you know, yeah, we're being great. enriched by that. Yes. Um, uh, you, I, you obviously are from Chicago. Um, not obviously, but you're from Chicago. And I, I heard one holiday you could not get home, mm -hmm. and a family member did a very sweet thing to try to make you feel, they tried to bring the holidays to you. Yes, my aunt, what a sweet, sweet woman. She said, I'm going to send you Easter dinner via the mail. And... My sweet Now, aunt. did you think when you heard that that was maybe problem brewing? Well, I was like, surely it's stuff I have to make on my own. Yeah. She's not going to make me dinner. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of canned goods yes. at Easter, right? But I was wrong. Okay. She made like a ham. There was, <laughs> there was unrefrigerated bacon. Okay. And I was like, who's eating bacon at dinner? It just wasn't thought out. Uh -huh. So it gets to the post office after like being on the truck for such a long time. The post office is closed due to the holiday. Sure, that makes sense. I get to the post office. Two postal workers are like, oh my gosh, she's here. And I was like, <laughs> she's here? Truly the box is dripping. It's like the box at the end of seven. And... <laughs> And it stinks. It's like, what is in the box? What is in the box? <laughs> so they were excited to see yes. what was in the box. This is the talk of the week. This stinky box belonged to this, this woman. I am, you know what? Of all the different reactions postal employees could have to a stinky box, I'm kind of excited <laughs> they treated it like a game show. <laughs> me too. Yeah. They could have yelled at me and been like, what is this? And yeah. I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I pulled out a full ham. It was wild. It must have been so anticlimactic for them. They were like, oh my God, it's a body, it's something. It's like, no, it's just old ham. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but at least that way they're not witnesses. You know, you probably have to file a police report if you find a body in a box. It's the post office, they weren't gonna do anything. <laughs> I once filed a complaint. I was like, I didn't get my package. Two days later, they were like, we hope you got it. And I was like, you didn't do anything. <laughs> They're like, well, maybe it'll come. <laughs> maybe it'll come. Who knows? They were like, contact the sender. And I was like, what? <laughs> now, uh, I do want to, uh, the clip that you showed when you walked out here, this is a very funny show. Uh, Colton Dunn, what am I, uh, I've known Colton for like 20 years. Um, it's a fantastic cast. Do you enjoy working with everybody over there on that show? Oh, God, I love it so much. I've known everyone for so long. The creator I've known since we were like improvising in New York under Gristides with like dripping on us. Yeah, there you go, and, UCB. Yeah, UCB, oh, God bless. Um, and truly, like, everyone is so fun and so great. Colton is, a, is just, like, amazing. It's like going to work with, like, my friends, and it's, like, not even a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like for a lot of people who work with you, and I know, uh, you know, this isn't the only show you do, I would imagine working with Nicole Byer, it almost never feels like a job. Is that oh, what you try to bring to a project? Listen, if I'm not having fun, we go home. <laughs> I think that's a good way to approach What's this the sort point of profession. Of not having fun. It's like, I'm gonna cash the check, but I'm gonna have fun doing it. There you go. And I think nobody would complain about you doing both of those things. And uh, it's always such a delight to have you here. Thank Seth, you so much for coming thank back. Thank you for having me. Guys, the one, the only, Nicole Byer, Grand Crew airs Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. here on NBC. We'll be right back with a performance from Keshi.